welcome to wellness. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get comfortable, whatever type of day you've had, whether you're a medical resident, a medical student, or something else entirely altogether. I'm gonna go ahead and get started sitting on my heels, feeling the earth under my legs supporting me. I'm gonna go ahead and start inhaling, bringing palms to heart center. Inhaling and exhaling easily, effortlessly, without thinking, without worrying. And go ahead and set an intention for my practice today. And now I'm going to uh, separate my knees as wide as my mat, keeping my toes together. I'm gonna gently bow forward, letting my belly fall between my legs. I'm gonna make a pillow for my head with my hands. Palms face down on the mat. Making whatever micro adjustment I need to to get the most out of this moment. Get as comfortable as possible. <laughs> Maybe move my head slightly side to side. Finding stillness, regardless of what's going on around me. Just connect with my breath here, slow down. Come into my room, come into my body. I'm filling up my, my body with breath. I'm gonna use my hands to gently walk myself back up to seated. And I'm going to come to stack sitting almost cross-legged, but instead of crossing legs, I'm gonna stack right leg over left leg so that my right foot is over my left knee and my left foot is under my right knee. And inhaling here, I'm gonna just put my hands on the earth beside me, standing on my fingers. Inhale, I'm gonna look up and exhale gently round forward, placing my hands in front of me on the mat. Feeling the intensity of this pose, this fire log stacking of my legs. Even though it doesn't look like much, it's actually doing a lot. Breathing here, I'm gonna lengthen tail to crown. <laughs> this thunder pause goes around me. And as I exhale, I'm gonna melt my heart just a little bit further over my legs. Maybe experiment with gently moving my torso, swaying side to side, over my hips. Breathing into any dusty corners, waking up my muscles, my tendons, my fascia all this tissue that can get stuck in the patterns of our lifestyle of being in not a large variety of positions throughout the day and so moving my body in different ways when I get home from work can be great for making sure that energy doesn't stay stagnant in the body Also good for releasing tension. On my next inhale, I'm gonna inhale up, raise my arms, look up, and untangle my legs, um, stick my legs straight out in front of me, and wiggle my knees back and forth, windshield wiper my feet back and forth. I'm gonna inhale, reach my arms up here, reach up, look up, visualize whatever comes to mind. Maybe you're picking cherries. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna bow over my straight legs, maybe micro bend in my knees, maybe macro bend, whatever feels good today. And inhaling, I'm gonna feel my belly massage against my upper thighs. Exhale, I'm gonna melt my heart a little closer to the earth. Maybe release even more. Maybe my hands can find a place on my lower extremities, my ankles or my feet, my toes, the earth. And 
to release my neck, my head, my face, my jaw. And then I'm going to um, put my legs a little wider. Inhale up once again, and then exhale, come in between my legs, forming a kind of a, a pie slice here. And I can let myself fall wherever is comfortable, maybe on my hands, maybe my forearms, maybe a little bit deeper. Feeling energy through my heels, my soles, my toes. With each inhale, I fill my body up with breath, lengthening through my spine. And with each exhale, I melt a little deeper, bowing towards the earth. And wherever you are on your next inhale, we can use our hands to walk ourselves up again. And this time, stack our legs in the other direction. So I'm going to place my left foot and ankle above my right knee and my right foot below my left knee. I'm going to place my hands behind me, tenting on my fingers. Inhale, I look up, squeezing my shoulder blades together, shoulders roll down my back. And as I exhale, I'm going to bring my hands in front of me, tenting on all 10 fingers again as I round my spine bowing the crown of my head towards the earth. As I inhale, I'm going to look up again and exhale, melt a little further over my legs, keeping my feet alive, my hands alive. Seeing what I can relax. Seeing how I can be present in the moment. And if I ever am taken away from that presence, I can congratulate myself on noticing that and then just welcoming myself back to the present moment. Inhale here and exhale. I melt over my legs. Now on our next inhale, we can walk ourselves up and uh, crossing our legs, we can Press our hips up so that we're kind of pressing our knees into the earth as our palms are behind us. You can release your neck, gaze behind you, and then return to sitting on your bottom. You can bring the soles of your feet together. Give yourself a little soul massage here on your feet, your toes, your ankles, and then clasp your fingers around your toes. Inhale to lengthen. Filling your body up with breath and then exhale. You can release it with a sigh as you bow forward. Forehead reaching effortlessly towards your toes. Maybe releasing your hands and letting palms rest on your mat or the ground or your bed, whatever you're on. On your next inhale, you can uh, walk yourself up with your hands and stretch your legs out long in front of you and then bend your knees, grabbing behind them with your hands, lifting them up so that your, your calves are parallel with the earth. And an option to maybe lengthen one leg out kind of straight and the other one too. Feeling yourself pulled up as if a beam of light is connected to your heart and is, is helping you float anytime you feel like you're collapsing down. And then option to um, release one arm or the other. Maybe you want to support your neck. Seeing what you can relax. And if you feel a little kind of vibrational in this pose, that's just energy moving through your body and releasing your arms once again inhale to lift up look up reach up with all toes all fingers and then return 
to an easy, comfortable seat and begin to make circles with your torso over your hips. Noticing any sensations or any noises that might be happening. One more circle here and then we'll turn to return to center. Take a moment to feel what you feel. And inhale once again as you exhale, make circles in the opposite direction. Feeling this movement start at the base of your spine and work all the way up your spine through your shoulders, your neck. Noticing how one side might be different from the other. And from here, let us uh, come to bow over our, our straight legs. So uh, soles of the feet are together, toes and heels together. Palms reaching towards the earth. And you just let yourself hang heavy like a limp rag doll. Can bend your knees as much as you want to. Or as little as you want to. I'm going to inhale up to a flat back, palms resting on thighs or on calves. And then exhale, release again, bending knees and slowly rolling up, stacking your spine on top of itself, rolling shoulders down the back, head floating up last. And from here, I'm going to come to bend my knees, placing them together, bringing my arms out and cactus arms. So palms shining forward, same direction as my heart and my elbows are in the 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to pour my weight into my left leg as my right wraps around it. And then I'm going to wrap right elbow below left, palms together. Gaze is forward at a steady point. I'm just going to inhale here, lengthening and exhale, sinking a little deeper. Inhaling and exhaling, pressing palms together. Inhale and exhale. And I can slowly begin to unwind out in all directions, shaking it out. Nice and loose, nice kind of slow-mo shake out. And returning to steady feet together, I'm gonna to take another bend in my knees and bring my arms up into cactus arms again. This time I'm gonna pour my weight into my right leg as I wrap my left over it and around. And then this time I'm gonna wrap my left arm under my right and press my palms together. Inhaling up, I lift my elbows, breathing into the space between my shoulder blades. And exhaling, I sink a little deeper and notice the thickness of the sweater that I'm wearing as this pose heats up in these, these sort of desert positions of, of cactus and eagle. Always reminds me of the, the Mexican flag, which if you haven't looked at lately, Check it out. One more inhale here. And then I'm gonna gently slow motion exhale, disconnecting from my palms, unwrapping arms, unwrapping legs, letting everything fly out. And then slow mo wiggle it out. Um, I'm gonna press my right toes into the earth. Right leg stretches long behind me and then do the same with left leg. And then maybe remove a layer that I don't need anymore. <laughs> and from here, I'm gonna come to also remove my socks because I don't need those anymore either. And from here, I'm gonna take a step back, take a step back so that my right foot is behind me. We're at a 45 degree angle and my left leg is in front of me. Coming in to bend that left knee, working towards 45 degree angle. 
I don't, I don't see a protractor here. And I'm going to make sure I can still see my left toes as I reach forward, leaning forward with my torso, both arms long in front of me. And this is, this is a power lunge. Carry on, warriors. Reach, reach for what you want, feeling balanced in both directions, both your back foot and your front foot. And then bring your arms behind you as you lean forward, leading with your heart just a little bit more. Maybe interlace your palms, squeeze your hands and your shoulder blades together, squeezing out all that stress that you might have in your back. Inhale up here as we arch our spine, gazing up. And then exhale, bowing into that space created by our left leg. heart falls inside our left leg here as our palms effortlessly using gravity reach towards the ground crown of head reaching down and breathe here option to um, un uh, hook our arms and reach left arm behind us, right arm over us, maybe hands reach for your clothing behind you or maybe you can clasp your hands together as you look up, gaze up, leading from the heart in this twist, this bind, noticing whatever you notice and breathing. And then let that go. Use your hands to walk to center as we straighten that left knee. What a great sensation. As we bring legs wide and feet parallel to each other and forward fold. Palms to the earth, crown of head to the earth. Maybe bringing those hands between our legs, palms up. Pressing backs of hands into the earth. Releasing the shoulders, releasing the face. And then from here, let's bring our right palm to the earth directly below our heart and inhale our left palm up so that our, our heart and our left palm are shining to the left. Inhale, feeling one long line of energy from hand to hand. And exhale, twist a little deeper, maybe gazing up at left hand, maybe gazing forward if that feels better on our neck. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, rooting down with all of our toes. Exhale, we reach a little higher with that left arm. And let's return to center and let everything hang heavy again. Palms can be down into the earth or maybe tops of hands pressing into the earth behind us. And on our next inhale, let's bring left palm where the right one was. We can pause uh, pressing right palm into the small of our back and then inhaling it up so that our left palm is pressing into the earth and right fingertips reach for the sky as we shine our heart and our right palm to the right. Inhale, we elongate and exhale, we twist a little deeper, appreciating the shape created by our bodies and the space in between. And breathe here. One more breath to get the most out of this pose. Make whatever adjustment you need to, to soak it up. And then exhale, release, hanging heavy again. And then we can pivot 
on our legs so that our left foot is now behind us at a 45 degree angle and our right foot is pointed directly forward, we can come to um, lean into that, that right foot, making a sharp angle with that front right knee. Inhale, we can lean forward, reach forward. Power lunge here, shoulders roll down the back, both hands reach forward, palms shining up. Breathing, and then maybe reaching behind us as we lean even further forward. Leading with the heart, squeezing stress out from our shoulders. Option to interlace our palms together. Interlace our fingers, squeeze our palms together. Inhale to use our hands to pull our back into an arch, looking up. And then exhale, bowing to that space inside of our right knee. Letting our shoulders naturally fall as our hands succumb to gravity, being pulled towards the earth. And if we're feeling it, we can create a bind, releasing our hands, reaching right hand underneath right leg and left arm around, seeing if we can grab onto our shirt or piece of clothing or maybe hands grab together. Inhale here and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one more breath, getting the most out of this moment. What can we get out of this moment? Inhale and exhale and then release. Stretch, straightening that right leg. What an amazing sensation. And once again, hanging loose, bowing between both legs in a standing forward fold. Crown of the head, reaching towards the earth. If there's some space between your head and the earth, you can shake your head yes, shake it no, shake it maybe. Option to let your hands pass through your legs and rest the palm up as you fill your body up with breath. And then we can use our hands to slowly press into the earth and walk our feet closer together. And now I'm going to um, put my right hand below my right foot and massage my right wrist with my toes, wiggling those. And do the same with my left. Just feeling what I feel. Letting my head hang heavy. Letting everything go. Shaking my head out again, seeing what else I can relax. Maybe relax my lips with a flutter. And then I'm gonna uh, release my hands again and allow myself to take an easy sit seat back on the mat. When I don't have a mat, I certainly miss it, miss the comfort of it. And just take a moment and notice how your body feels after using it in a new way today. Now I'm going to bring my palms to heart center and with deep gratitude I bow to you and acknowledge the divine light within you and within me and within all beings. Namaste.